Welcome to the Great Yogurt Maker Showdown. We're going to take our gifted Aldi Yogurt Maker and run a batch through there and compare it to our Davis and Waddle from Kitchen Warehouse Yogurt Maker. See if there's any difference in the yogurt. Have a look at the machines. Decide which one we like better and let you know. They make very slightly different amounts and we're gonna measure it so that we know. This is our 1.6 litre container from the uh, Davison model. And this is our, not really certain, LD one. To get the volume similar, we're going to use a larger LD container and the smaller Davison model. I've got to keep looking at that. I'm terrible with names. Our smaller Davison model uh, 1.6 litre container. And we'll measure it out so we know roughly how much we're, oh, we're using. Well, not roughly, exactly how much we're using. So we'll get a litre. Which Rufy wants to drink. Come on, Ruf, stop it. Actually, that might be the same volume. Okay, it's 1.25. Okay, it's about a 1.3 and a 1.6, so it's... It's very full, but there we go, that's 1.6 litres. And the first thing we'll notice is plastic for the Davis and Waddle, glass for the uh, LD one. This feels much more solid, much nicer. This is, feels like cheap plastic. We'll use our yogurt maker. Now, the Davis model instructions say we should use 150 grams of fresh yogurt uh, to start this, but as I've said in my previous video, which I'll link up there, um, I can't really see the point in taking 150 mil of bought Greek yogurt to make four or 500 mil of homemade yogurt. Doesn't make any sense. So I'm using these starters, they work really well. It makes a very tasty yogurt, again, I'll link these um, in the description. They're a bit over a dollar a packet. The price on the link will be up there, down there, all over the place. Uh, but we'll add one sachet in each, which should be sufficient. Give it a stir through. So here we have the two side by side. And immediately you'll notice this has got a aluminium or some form of metal insert this again is plastic this is very light this feels a little bit more solid it has a much larger clearer display but to get it to work according to the instructions we just go and pop that in there we get our lid and pop our lid on and our other lid on and we just press power now it gives us a code not what it is so it's saying 10 hours, that's fine. So it's not a clear, it's a very small display, but it's, it's adequate. We shall now get our LD container. And as I said, the glass is nice, the fact that it's glass. We pop that in there, we put our lid on. Now just comparing these lids actually, this is just a molded piece of plastic. This has got a cleanable seal, little breather on it. Much nicer, heavier plastic, so I think the LD lids are much better. We've got that on, we'll put that lid on. And for the LD one, all we need to do is go menu. And our Greek yogurt is flashing, so we know exactly what we're cooking. Whereas here, we've got, we've got no idea because it's lost its code and it's just giving us the hours to go. But here we can tell we're doing Greek yogurt, it's got 10 hours to go, and they're both off and cooking. We've got 10 hours to go on both, which is great, because they're gonna be the same time. Then we've got to put them in the fridge overnight. Then we've got to strain them. Uh, and then we can try the yogurt after another three or four hours. So sometime tomorrow evening, these will be ready, and we'll do our taste test. But I'll also show you how easy they are to uh, strain and change containers and other things. Uh, so we'll. Look at the second stage as well. Stay tuned. Yogurt stage two. They're both turned off. 
which on the LD1 actually says off, which is helpful, this goes 400, no, zero, zero hours. So not as clear. So we'll take that lids off because we've got to put it in the fridge overnight, let it settle a bit more. And oh, it's nicely fit in there. But I'm still not happy with that lid just sort of sitting there like that because when we compare it to the LD1, and he fell smelt the yogurt. We've actually got a nice sealed lid. So we can see the LD yogurt has solidified nicely. Our kitchen warehouse one seems to have gone similar. Can't really see any difference at the moment, can you? No. All right, so now we've got to pop it in the fridge. And as I've said, I'm not keen on this lid. All right, we'll turn them off, pop them in the fridge, and then we'll filter them tomorrow morning. Stage three. The cooked yogurt has been settling in the fridge overnight, so we now have a ah, somewhat, that lid annoys me, I don't like that. Stop licking everything. So we now have a somewhat solidified yogurt, so if I take one out of here, we can see the texture now from our new yogurt maker. And there's a texture from our old yogurt maker. Looks very similar. But to make Greek yogurt, you have to filter it. So I'm about to pour this into here. There's our filter. And it's going to have to go in two shots. <clears throat> I have the same issue here. There's more of this than there is room in the filter. Oh, actually, that's quite a bit more solid. So I would actually say that that is a little bit more solidified from the LD one than from the new one. So we need to let that clear out a bit. All the whey will come into the bottom there, which we can see on the LD one, but we can't see on our cheap plastic one. So I think the more I look at these two, the more I like the LD one. Anyway, we'll just let that drain. We'll get the last of it out because it's still quite a bit left in both of them. We let it drain for a few hours. Yogurt stage four. So we've got our Aldi and our kitchen warehouse one, which I also found online for Amazon for exactly the same price as I paid for it from kitchen warehouse. So no, it wasn't half price. Anyway, let's have a taste. Take the lids off and oh, you can come in and have a look. We can see, oh, get the sieve out. There's our kitchen warehouse, nice and solid. There's our LD one, and we can see the amount of whey that's come out of it there. And then, just as a bit of a change, we did a normal yogurt with it, which is not strained. So that's quite runny. Well, runny compared to these. So we're gonna give it a taste. I'm gonna try this one first, and it's good and thick and creamy. Tastes fine to me. We'll try the Aldi one, which again, thick and creamy, and I think it may be slightly thicker and creamy than the other one. I do believe that one is slightly better. And then we have our normal yogurt which is unstrained as we can see it's that yogurt thick much milder quite nice but i think i prefer it that way so to sum it all up what i think of them i am disappointed in this one it's cheap 
Um, I wouldn't say nasty because it works. Everything is plastic. It doesn't have a decent lid and I keep going on about that and it's annoying, but it really annoys me. It doesn't tell you on the timer that it's turned off or what type of yogurt it's making, it just gives you a code. The LD1, you can see what's going on. It looks like quality glass. The display is much better and it tells you what you're cooking, how long it's got to go, everything you need to know. It's not a complete waste because I'm about to ferment some cucumbers in here and see how they turn out. We'll give that a shot shortly. So would I recommend the $50 kitchen warehouse one or? Davis and Waddell. Yeah, that one. Uh, no, I'd go hunting for this one that Aldi supplies, grab that instead, because I have seen the same one online, same brand. You can get it from, I think it was eBay or other places. Uh, and it's the same price as this one. So definitely go that way. If you like this video, please click subscribe, etc. Push all those magic little buttons around the place. Uh, and you'll get to see when we make our fermented cucumbers in that one. Bye for now and I'll catch you in the garden. Now for the final taste test. Do you want some? Do you want some? Do you want it? You gonna be a good boy? Yes you are, there you go. It's Rufus approved.